You have no idea how important what I'm about to tell you is. As real as these healings and miracles are that have happened under this tent, it confirms that we're in a war, a spiritual war, one of great intensity, and that the overwhelming majority of Americans are not ready for what's coming. The storm that's about to hit this nation, they're not ready for it. And it isn't Hamas. Hamas is not going to make it in the boat over here. What's going to come is a moment that you just heard Tucker Carlson describe. They know that their grip on us is loosening. CNN knows it. MSNBC knows it. Washington, D.C. knows it. The media knows it. Hollywood knows it. When the sound of freedom was made, Hollywood raged. Can you imagine being against a movie that saves children? They can because they know that money didn't go into their coffers. That's the same anger they had with Mel Gibson and the, and the movie he made about Jesus, the passion of the Christ. The same thing that happened when the Jesus Revolution with Kelsey Grammer came out. And then they felt the sting of Bud Light. Yeah. Coca-Cola's feeling it now. But they know they're about to lose their grip. And they understand that this moment that they're in is short-lived right. but their master is the one who's given them the desperation because the bible says satan is going about as a roaring lion because he knows his time is short he is soon to be cast into the lake of fire so given that what do we do everyone's going to have to choose sides look at me everyone is going to have to choose sides you know, some people believe they can withstand torture and they won't admit if they were uh, tortured to, in order to say something, they'll say, well, I don't think I have a breaking point. You're a liar. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. And the breaking point for you and I is this. Society is going to demand perversion. They're going to demand allegiance to their view and your ability to fight it off. For the sake of your child or your future is based on one thing. You have got to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm going to go over here. You have got to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You have got to possess that power. I want you to go to Philippians chapter 2 verse 13 in the New Living Translation. And I want to make a promise to you. Before I read it, I'm going to read it and I'm going to do something. Philippians 2.13, For the Lord is working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases Him. Everybody stop, look me in the eye. We are moments away from me asking you to come to God. Every night I've taken an aspect of the gospel and showcased it. One night I talked about the war on our emotions. Another night I told you about the power of the devil and how Christ defeats it and how demonic oppression affects our life. But I believe tonight what I'm addressing is the most dangerous force of all. So how can it be more powerful than demons? Because it has a human element to it. Your threat now are the other humans. Your threat now is physical. You're going to be asked to be loyal to a brave new world. You're going to be asked whether or not and you need to understand how completely hoodwinked the body of Christ was. 
when that jab, and because the algorithm doesn't know what that means, when that jab came out, millions took it because the government said to. The government said do this, the government said do that. Then they hid all of the problems that were created by that. And they told you to shut up and not say anything. And I remind you that the, uh, last night I told you that Jonas Salk developed the polio vaccine. And it was public and it was open. He showed all of the science community his work. He was transparent. And he said, this is why I believe this polio vaccine will work. And I want you fellow scientists to examine it. And I want you to look at all my data. Go through it all. Then he invited the public to ask any question they wanted. We were not given that right. Right or wrong, you need to know that. Bottom line, do you have power over the tractor beam of modern culture? Are you going to compromise in your social life? Are you going to comp what are you going to tell the devil? How are you going to stand and look at me now and tell me I'm going to be, I'm going to say it to those in the, watching on, uh, face, on live stream. You and I must become a new breed of born again believer. A born again believer full of the power of God, full of the knowledge of God, full of the righteous blessing of God so that we can walk through life and stand against the tide of immorality. And it isn't God's will for you to barely make it. It isn't God's will for you to slide and barely make it. It is God's will for you to thrive and be strong and have a family and prosper and be blessed. And for us to fight and defeat the enemy.